Hey guys, welcome to another review. It's part two of the Mega Mousepad review. Today I have the Steel Series SP, SP Mousepad. It's been out for a long time, four or five years. I can't even remember. A very very long time. Anyway, so um, if you see in a lot of my reviews, I've used this mousepad as one of my test mouse pads, either for the side, doesn't matter, for the IE 3.0, for the death adder, whatever. I'm just going to put the Zion on here for now. So one thing you have to notice about this mouse pad is that it's Steel Series again. When you first look at it, it, it's, it looks really, it's really, really a uh, glossy plastic finish. So we, I, I can't, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it is a very like, glossy finish. And when you look at when you look for, when you first look directly at the mouse pad, it feels like you're looking at an optical illusion because, like beneath the mouse pad, they they the texture and the graininess like it it really like like you don't know where to concentrate at times. So it's really really like when you look at it, you become like it, it screws up your eyes like seriously. But other than that, when you once you but when you lay it on like flat surface, it's it's completely fine. Uh, this mouse pad retails for like 300, 320, uh, 320 Hong Kong, but then a lot of people, it's actually uh, used by a lot of people. And uh, what else? But no, but a lot of people, for some reason, they sell this second hand. So that's how I picked this mouse pad up second hand because I just didn't want to buy it like first hand, obviously. So what's good about this mouse pad? It's very glossy finish, it's very, very uh, slick and smooth in the sense that it's too smooth at times. So if you can see, like the surface is extremely grainy, and but the the graininess is actually quite. Uh, you can actually feel it much more, much more so than the other hard mats such as Destructor, the 4HD, like CSV 4HD, etc. Uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So when so this is I have an SP which is quite used. So what this means is that the middle part of the mouse pad, the graininess, it actually kind of appears over time it really uh, started to flatten out so it's not as smooth anymore but the sides of the mouse pad are still like brand new so I'll show you what, what I mean by this so if I take my ah oh, whatever, I'll take my Zai okay. if I take my Zai and I put it to the corner of the mouse pad it's, it's, it's extremely smooth so I can like like push it and it just like glides off it's, it's, just, it's just like a freaking puck on ice a uh, ice puck, a hockey puck on an ice same thing like, like, this is like freaking uh, flies everywhere. Right? Okay, so but once you once like, you can hear this is really smooth. But if you once I put it in the middle, which is much more uh, flat now, you can hear there's a it feels much more grainy. So uh, once you have it smoother, it's not as smooth. So it uh, it there's much more resistance apparently. But then this resistance sometimes I per, I personally like the resistance a little bit more, like the used bit of it. Because somehow it gives like a better feel of control for some reason, and and I just I just like it more. But whereas in the uh, smooth sides, it's way too uh, slippery. This this side, this this middle part, used part, it somehow gives like a natural, more lateral control, which is really really odd, but I like it. So one of my favorite setups is to use my uh, Death Adder, which I love using with the Steel Series SP. So here we go, Death Adder. On the side, it's, it's extremely smooth, and we got the middle, which is like, I just I just love this combination. So, uh, but the one thing you have to worry about that is the Sears Series SP. It has a renowned, really high liftoff distance. As in, you could be using your mouse like at it's like zero point. I mean, it's like four millimeters or three millimeters, four millimeters. It's almost like you can track your mouse lifting it off like this much off the. Off the mouse at, at times, it's, so it's pretty ridiculous. So if you want to use a mouse with the CSU SP, I would really suggest you uh, getting uh, thicker uh, mouse gates to put on your uh, mouse so that uh, the liftoff distance won't be as high. So it's a very big comparison with my Ice Mat, which has a very low uh, liftoff distance. This has a very high liftoff distance, but nonetheless, it's an extremely quality uh, mouse pad. Uh, very smooth, very well built. Uh, easy, to it's portable. You just shove it in your uh, backpack or something. Take it out. It's not very easy damaged. Hard mat. It's freaking awesome. So, this is my review of the Steel Series uh, SP. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.